Yeah. All right, surveillance in the sky now. The U.S. military is testing out a new cruise missile defense system. That's right, and it's a large blimp-like balloon that will hover over the Baltimore area for three years using radar to scan targets on the ground. John Gonzalez explains why critics are blasting this surveillance operation. Well, from this angle, you get a good perspective here at the Grace's quarters in Baltimore County. It is Top Gun meets Goodyear blimp. The Army today is unveiling a spectacular new tool right there. You are seeing it for the first time. It is a blimp-like airship that will be used as a new cruise missile defense system. Its official name is J-LENS, short for Joint Land Attack Cruise Missile Defense Elevated Netted Sensor System. It's a mouthful, but here's how it works. By March, two of these will be tethered to concrete pads four miles apart, floating 10,000 feet high for a three-year test. Radars will scan a radius of 340 miles, roughly from upstate New York to Norfolk, Virginia, pinpointing targets and threats privacy advocates are leery over the system's ability to monitor moving objects. Well, the major general for the Army in charge here says this surveillance balloon, if you will, is not here to spy on the public. You know, it doesn't have recording information on it. It doesn't have cameras. You know, so it, it cannot, and it, it cannot depict people on the ground, too. It's not designed for that. You know, so it is designed for a certain threat. It stretches about 250 feet long, nearly the length of a football field, and it will be able to track everything that moves. The Army today joked that this one will be lofted up next week, just in time to track Santa and his sleigh. In Baltimore County, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News. All right.